Hello everyone. Um, tonight I've actually just been kind of playing around with my modular here and got a sound I'm real impressed with. And uh, this is actually my synthesizers.com module which I haven't demoed yet. Um, I've been working on it now for about a year and uh, finally got it somewhat complete. I got a few little areas I'm going to put in my own uh, custom modules. Um, but anyways what I've done is I got the CP251 Mografoger and I'm using the sample and hold triggered to the MIDI out and I've got that routed to the uh, pulse width modulation input or pulse width jack and I've actually got it randomly sampling a signal for the uh, pulse width and then uh, what I've also done is I've also engaged a little modulation some frequency modulation sine wave off the uh, Mografoger and uh, then I'm using a bandpass filter and I've created this really cool um, sound. It's actually a violin sound I've been working on. And of course I got a my uh, RE20 Space Echo remake. But right now it's not engaged. So this is just just the raw synth. Use my little toy keyboard. It was working. Hang on a second. There it is. I just kind of been playing around with it. That's why I got this little keyboard here. But I was real impressed with the sound I've got. It's uh, it's a really good violin sound. And since every time I'm hitting a note, it's getting a different waveform because it's changing the pulse width of that uh, waveform. It actually creates this really cool effect. And what I've also got here is my Slim Fatty, which I've actually got it uh, put on poly mode, so I can use it as just a bass synth. And uh, I get some really cool results. So actually what I'm going to do right quick is put my camera on my tripod here, and uh, I'll show you all a demo with the Moog uh, bass put in with it. So right now this, once again, this is just a raw synthesizer.com. And here's what it sounds like with the RE20 in, in, uh, engaged. shifting octaves on my MIDI controller here. So now let's put the, the Moog bass in. Changing the speed of the tape, of the digital tape in that case.
uh, synthesizer.com modular, I hadn't talked much about it here, but this is uh, probably one of the most classic new modulars I've ever played with. Um, it's actually made by a guy named Roger Eric. He's the one that came up with it out of Texas. And uh, my hat's off to the guy. He's, he's pulled it off really well. It's, it's, uh, it's a classic. I mean, it's definitely really cool. And of course, I love the filters. You know, actually, he has he offers a ladder filter, but you know, I have mini modes and all that, so I didn't really get the ladder filter. But his filter is really cool because it's so unique. And right now, I got I'm using a bandpass, which is really cool because you have different options of filtering, so you can get some different results. And it, it just I'll go back here. Make it attack a little faster. Uh, slew limiter or portamento or glide, whatever you want to call it, you can actually make it directional, which is kind of cool. Uh, right now, I have it set to down, so anytime I go up the scale of the keyboard, it won't glide. If I go down the scale, so we'll go up the scale. But anytime I go down the scale, Right the offset, make it glide up the scale. So you get some really good results, and I mean, it's just a really cool synthesizer. But I was just kind of playing around tonight, kind of goofing around, just taking some time off repairing some of the gear I've got, and uh, just thought I'd spend some time with the modular. And I mean, I've been playing with it for quite a while. But uh, you know, now since I've got all my modules installed and everything, it's 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 a fully blown synthesizer, and I mean it's just it's really good. Uh, if anybody's looking into getting a modular synthesizer, I mean this is what I would recommend. You know, I mean there's some other companies out there that's good as well. Um, but what's cool is you know he's got an entry level program, which is actually what this one was. I had a different case built, which added a little bit, and then I added some more oscillators. And things like that. So actually, what I've got here is three oscillators, right here: mixer, uh, state variable filter. That's actually an instrument interface where I can actually interface instruments, or like guitars, microphones, and actually uh, use them to control the synth. Uh, MIDI interface, which is what I'm using currently. Of course, you can also, you know, go strictly analog and use CV signals, which I've done with my Roland SH09. Slew limiter or portamento two multiples and three envelope generators and then there's your uh, voltage controlled amplifier with your power module and all that but um, yeah guys this is really a really cool synth I'm working on getting it all set up in my music room at the time right now it's still on the floor as you can see but um, it's definitely one of those things to check out it's it's a really cool synth and uh, and like I said hats off to uh, Roger Eric because he he did uh, great job on this thing. But anyways guys, just thought I'd share that uh, violin sound I made and uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care.